Yo, yo, yo. First, I want to start this by saying salute to Coach Prime and making one of the best decisions uh, staffing-wise with the Colorado uh, Buffaloes. And that's the firing of his offensive coordinator, who, like I always say when I'm watching this and calling the live streams, about what the F are they doing with this play calling? Why the hell are they keep running screens? What's up with these dumb plays? Everything's predictable with what you know they're going to run. You can't get a running game going. You got a... a Edwards in the backfield, single back formation. You don't have any type of protections that come up when there's a, a, a play to drop Shador in the back. The line ain't blocking. And I wonder now, is it a thing of these linemen just being that trash? Or could it be about the offensive play calling, whatever sets they have going in, their assignments? None of it's making sense because uh, uh, something just can't be that these guys are just this atrocious at this. Uh, uh, nah, it got to be on them. I ain't going to put it just on the coach's play calling. But he makes some real cowardice type play calling. He has a lot of good talent. Uh, uh, you know, you don't see too many good short passing. The shortest shit they're going to run is a screen. And they're a, a common play call. And I'm always stating I'm glad Dion has taken away, taken away that uh, um, position from him. And giving it to a former NFL coach you see in that top right corner, uh, uh, Pat Samur. I can't even pronounce his last name, but that's a, a good move. See if it moves the, the uh, team's offense forward because they came out the goddamn cannon uh, um, when they played the TCU game. And then the games after that, Colorado State, and then when they get to the bigger programs, here they can't get shit going. They get out to this huge lead uh, uh, against who was that they blew out of? Uh, was blowing out Stanford. And they come into the damn next half. The defense them fell asleep and celebrating. Now the offense can't get shit rolling. You get the same old stupid ass play calls going on. I'm glad the decision was made, man. And I'm looking forward to seeing what, what this new guy can do as the new caller on the field. And maybe uh, Sean Lewis is going to find his way up out of there. Because something just made me want to stay away from saying maybe Sean Lewis is deliberately trying to just fuck things over. For them offensively, I'm not sure where he came from, or if Dion brought him there, or if he was part of a uh, um, uh, uh, old coaching staff at Colorado. Because the thing I heard he was at Kent State, and I heard somebody making opinions on his play calling up there is that he ran a different style of offense, and he get here and he's running this simple ass weak weak minded type shit. Like I be saying every week, some just look weak with the offense, but I'll be seeing more of a. Even with the defensive coordinator, I think that coordinator is next too. You see that little shrimp looking motherfucker always blowing a fucking head gasket, losing his mind as this whack ass, uh, uh, you know, inabilities to really manage what's going on defensively constantly with the fucking 12 men on the field and this and that, that uh, he may be on the chopping block next, but Dion didn't fire these guys. He's made moves. That lets them know the writing's on the wall and they make the next move themselves. And that's to either leave the program or remain in their reduction in role. But uh, he is a coordinator, so let's see if he stays and give responsibilities over to the next guy. Especially if success comes, maybe he find his way out. Because like Deion said, losing is not an option anymore. But uh, that's all I got, folks. Peace.